AoE 4 had a technical stress test last weekend. We finally were able to get our hands on the game and try it out for ourselves. I had quite a few questions being asked in my Twitch chat the past few days, so let's dive in and answer 30 questions about AoE 4's gameplay. 1. How do we put archers on walls? First we build a wall, then we build a gate in the wall. Archers then can walk through the gate and up to the top. Gates have two directions, indicated by the yellow arrow when placing them. Be careful to get the direction correct, lest enemy archers walk onto our walls. If we destroy a wall, then archers can walk up the sides. Walls give archers extra range, and reduce the damage they take from enemy attacks. 2. What happens when walls with archers are destroyed? The archers drop harmlessly to the ground without taking any damage. No units near the destroyed wall get damaged either. 3. Is there quick walling? Not really. The game does use a grid system for building placement, but the buildings don't occupy the entire tile set. We can place two houses adjacent to each other, but there still is a space for units to walk between them. 4. How does building placement work? In AoE 2, we get a red outline if we try to place a building where it isn't allowed to go. In AoE 4, the building outline jumps to the side and tries to find a nearby area where it can be placed. We can use this as a trick to place farms by repeatedly clicking on top of a mill. 5. Can we make roads? As we place houses and other buildings, roads, fences, gardens, and other cosmetic items are generated automatically. These scenery items serve no gameplay purpose, they purely are cosmetic. 6. How do sheep work? A scout can capture sheep, and the sheep scurry along quickly to chase after the scout. The sheep can move by themselves, but they are much slower when they do so. We can right-click a town center or mill to make a scout return and drop off the sheep for villagers to gather from. 7. Does food decay from animal carcasses? No. We can kill animals such as sheep, deer, or boar, then leave their carcasses behind on the ground. Their food does not decay. 8. Is there laming? Not in the sense of AoE 2, where scouts steal live animals. But there is a hunting technology at the mill in the feudal age that allows scouts to carry deer carcasses. Scouts can run forward, kill deer, and then bring them back. 9. Do villagers lose what they're carrying when switching resources? If a villager is carrying a resource and goes to gather from another resource, they don't lose what they're carrying until they walk over and begin collecting. If villagers build a mill, lumber camp, or a mining camp, then they deposit all of the resources they are carrying. It doesn't matter if they are carrying stone and construct a mill, we get the resources as soon as the building is finished. But villagers do not deposit resources when finishing farms, unlike the behavior in AoE 2. 10. How are battering rams constructed? Infantry can build battering rams and siege towers in the feudal age once a blacksmith technology is researched. These siege engines can be placed anywhere and then constructed in the field. The Abbasid dynasty unlocks rams immediately without needing the tech. Other siege is made in the castle age from either the siege workshop or the keep. 11. How does naval combat work? There are three main types of ships. Archer ships, attack ships, and demolition ships. They work as a rock-paper-scissors combat triangle. The archer and attack ships have firing arcs and need to turn to have their target in range before firing. In the Imperial Age, civilizations also gain access to a long-range, anti-building ship. 12. Can warships transport units? No. Unlike AoE 3, only transport ships can ferry units. Transports can be constructed starting in the Dark Age. 13. How do we chat to all players? Pressing Enter in-game sends a chat message only to our teammates. Holding Shift while pressing Enter opens a chat box that sends a message to all players. 14. Is there a chat filter? Yes. And phrases such as, Nice doc, are censored mistakenly. 15. Can the chat filter be turned off? No. 16. Do villagers shoot arrows? The English have a bonus that allows their villagers to use their bows against enemy units. They can pick off enemy scouts if they run too close in the Dark Age, and they even can shoot from on top of walls. 17. Can arrows be dodged? No. Even if a unit zigzags, runs out of range, and channels its inner leery, the projectiles are homing missiles that never miss their mark once the firing animation starts. 18. How many projectiles do garrison buildings shoot? Every garrisoned villager adds one additional arrow. 19. How do we advance to the next age? Different civilizations have slightly different mechanics, but in general, we need to construct landmarks with villagers instead of researching a technology at the town center. Each landmark has a unique bonus or ability, and there's a choice of which landmark to construct when going up. Adding more villagers to construct the landmark makes us advance more quickly. 20. What is the landmark victory condition? A player is defeated when all of their landmarks are destroyed. The capital town center that players have at the start of the game counts as a landmark. 21. What are sacred sites? 
Sacred sites are analogous to ruins from Age of Empires 1. Monks can capture them, and controlling all of them starts a 10 minute countdown timer. We win the game if we maintain control of all of the sites. Each sacred site also generates a trickle of gold while we control it. 22. How do wonders work? Wonders cost 3,000 of each resource and can be constructed in the Imperial Age. Finishing a wonder starts a countdown timer where we win if we keep the wonder standing. We can construct only one wonder at a time. 23. Are there hill bonuses? Hills give extra line of sight to units, but they do not give any extra bonus damage like in AoE 2, and walking downhill doesn't give a speed boost like it does in AoE 1. 24. How do forests affect line of sight? Trees block the line of sight of units. A scout will have a limited line of sight until it moves past a forest, then suddenly gets a vision of the open plain beyond it. Units can try to stand inside of less dense forests in order to hide, but then they also can't see anything outside of the trees. But scouts can stand in forests without losing their line of sight. 25. Will we run out of gold in 1v1s? There are neutral markets and docks scattered throughout the maps. We can trade with these buildings to generate gold, even in 1v1s. 26. Is there an in-game score? Score can be viewed when spectating games, but cannot be seen in-game. The diplomacy menu shows which age each player is in, and there are notifications when players age up, but the player age is not displayed in the primary interface. 27. Can monks convert units? Yes, but the mechanic is very different from conversions in AoE 1 and 2. Monks have a conversion ability only while they're carrying relics. The ability has a long cooldown, and cannot be cancelled once it's started. The conversion creates a large circle around the monks, and when it's finished, all units within the circle are converted. 28. Can we rotate the camera? Yes, by default the camera rotates by clicking the buttons in the bottom right, or by holding Alt and moving the mouse. 29. How far can we zoom out? This far. 30. What sound does the town center make? So there we have it, 30 quick facts from the AoE4 beta. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.